Hello besties, welcome to a random corner of my room. We are filming in a different spot in my room today. Because frankly, I'm not home alone right now. But I posted on Twitter asking if you guys wanted to see a video where I talk about some of the nicest band members that I've met. And majority said yes. So I'm here to deliver with that today. I've met a good amount of band members in my 25 years. Um of being alive. So we're gonna talk about some of the nicest members that I've met. We have seven bands, people, seven sections, I don't know how to say it, um, on this list. And I'm gonna start with a story that I just recently told, so I'm not gonna tell it again. Um, but number one on my list is Set It Off, but specifically Cody. In my last video, I talked about my experience with meeting Cody the last time that I saw Set It Off, but I've actually met him two other times before that. The first time I met him, he was super, super drunk, and I just remember him, like, apologizing to me because I had been waiting outside for, like, two hours. Please don't judge me. I was big into Set It Off at the time. I still am, but, like, I, it was my first time seeing them live, and I was determined to meet them before I left, so I deadass waited two hours just to meet them. And Cody was super drunk, he had just came back from a bar. I could literally smell the alcohol on his breath, uh, but he kept apologizing to me for making me wait. And he also kept hugging me, but he was super sweet, and yeah, that was the first time I met him. The second time I met him, Frankly, I don't remember that well because it was so brief, but it was back in 2018 for their Upside Down tour. Um, and I'm going to be inserting pictures, if I can find them, of me meeting these band members. But I don't really remember much from that interaction except for the fact that I got him to sign my set list along with the rest of Set It Off. That's also the same day that I met Max and Zach for the first and only time I've met them. I remember Max and Zach also being super nice, they also signed my set list, but again, it was so brief and so long ago that I don't remember much from it. So that's why I said specifically Cody because I don't remember a whole lot from meeting Max and Zach. So fingers crossed that the next time I see Set It Off, I actually get to speak to Max and Zach again because I miss them dearly. Number two is one of my favorite bands, The Main. I have met The Main. I've met the full band once. First time I saw them was back in 2017, I want to say. It's whenever they toured with Dashboard Confessional and the All-American Rejects. I remember I met Pat, Kennedy, and Garrett after that show. So I've met them twice, and I've also met John twice. Or I guess I've met Pat more than twice. I've met Pat the most because I've like talked to him after Sad Summer Fest uh, this past summer. Main are all super nice guys. Uh, the moment that sticks out to me the most though was when I first met the entire band and the only time I've met the entire band at Warp Tour 2018. And I feel like I've told this story before but I'm telling it again because it's my channel and I simply do not give a fuck. But basically I got back to the back of the line. I had just ran over from 303 set because I remembered that they were doing a meet and greet. And frankly, I would have rather have met the main than watch 303 a second time because I went to two Warped Tour dates. And I get over there and Justin, their merch guy, uh, was handing someone a piece of cardboard and I was very confused. I was like, okay, well, what the fuck is going on? And he sees me like walking up and he's just like, you know what? You can have this. And he hands it to me and I actually still have it. Let me get it real quick. I found it. So basically, I'm gonna finish the story and then I'm gonna show it to you guys, but he hands me this sign that says, I am the last person to meet a band called The Main. And basically, this man looks me in the eyes and tells me that I have to tell people that they would not be meeting their favorite band today. And I'm a very anxious person. I don't like giving bad news to people. It's just not in my anatomy. So he's just like, you know, if you need my help, just let me know, I'll be coming back to check out, check up on you, whatever. So, special mention to Justin Reese because he's not in a band that I know of, 
but he's the nicest merch person that I've met. It's finally my turn to meet Maine. I get up there and they see the sign <laughs> and they just start clapping and cheering and they're just all being so nice. I really wish that someone got this on video, but no one that I know of did. So they're cheering, they're clapping, whatever. They all give me high fives and they're just like, was anyone giving you a hard time? And I'm not gonna lie, there were some people trying to get behind me but Justin came back to yell at them, so I was just like, ah, oh, you know, whatever. Justin took care of it, we took care of it. I asked them all to sign my sign. We took our picture, they were all super nice, and yeah. And let me just show you guys the sign real quick. It's literally cardboard, it's super cute. This is one of my most like prized possessions. <laughs> and basically, I love the main so fucking much. Every time that I've met them, whether it's been the entire band, or some of them, or just one of them, they've always been super nice to me, so yeah. Number two on my list, the main. Number three on my list is um, our favorite member of Grayscale, Vaughn. Now listen, I'm not saying that there's members of Grayscale that are mean per se, because none of them are mean, but there are some of them that are very intimidating. And by that, I mean I'm scared of all of them except for Vaughn. Listen, Vaughn is just, he is like a fucking puppy in human form. Like, there's no way that you can be scared of that man. Even me, with severe social anxiety, I feel like I can talk to Vaughn about, like, anything. And he's always the one that's, like, willing to stop and talk to you like before or after a show. Before my little grayscale run, like for the Umbra tour, I had never met Vaughn. I'd only met the two Nicks. And I would see Vaughn like walking by the venue and I could just talk to him like I had known him forever. Um, and he's just always been so fucking nice and so kind and he's always so nice to me in his Twitch streams too. He'll always ask me how I'm doing. And I know that's bare minimum shit, but I don't care. Vaughn is so nice, and then meanwhile the others just scare me. But Vaughn, he holds a special place in my heart. Like, yes, Colin is still my favorite, but I'm terrified of that man. Don't get it twisted. I'm fucking so scared of him, but Vaughn is definitely the nicest member of Grayscale, and I will stand by that. He's so fucking nice. I love him so much. Oh my god. Next on my list is a band that I don't really keep up with anymore. I do listen to them from time to time, but it's only their older music. It's not... Like, if they release a new album, I'm not listening to it because... Watch what you say here, Sammy. You don't want to piss them off. You don't want to piss off their fans. It's Water Parks, if you couldn't already tell. I've met Water Parks twice. Once in... Back when they toured with All Time Low. Fuck All Time Low. But back when they toured with All Time Low, I met them after that show. And then I met them at Warp Tour in 2018. The time I met them at Warp Tour... I had more time with them because like it was an actual meet and greet and I had gotten there early that day just to get a wristband for it because I was a park seat at one point. I don't like to talk about it anymore because I'm not anymore, but at one time I was a park seat. I got my wristband, I was ready to meet them, it was like first thing in the morning too if I'm remembering correctly, so like the first thing I did was get my wristband and then I went over to their tent to meet them. So I get over there, I'm ready to meet them, and I'm sunburnt to all fuck. I'm sunburnt to all hell. I get up there, and, you know, I hug all them, whatever. And Austin, being the lovely human being that he is, squeezes me so fucking hard. And, again, so fucking sunburnt. Like, my shoulders are super burnt, my back was somehow burnt. I was wearing a t-shirt. I don't know how it happened, but it was burnt. And him, like, giving me this big bear hug, it hurt so fucking bad. But at the time, I did not care because I was just like, oh my god, I love this man. 
Also, I forgot to talk about it, but um, in the picture, I asked them to all give me a group hug. I will insert the photo. Um, and Austin was still continuing to hug me super fucking tight. It hurt like a motherfucker. I was in immense pain. Carry on. Also, every time that I've met them by themselves, they've also been super nice. I met Jeff back in whenever they toured with fucking All Time Low. I met him at the merch tent, and he complimented my shirt. Um, so <laughs> he's a nice guy, I guess. And then I met Otto, uh, the other Warp Tour date I went to in Pittsburgh, and he offered me some of his food that he bought with his own money. He's just like, you've probably been here all day, you're probably hungry, do you want some french fries? And I'm just like, Otto, yes, I took some french fries off of him, but I was also like, Otto, um, that's your food, bestie, like, you're probably hungry too. Next on my list is Alex from Young Culture. So Young Culture, if you guys don't know, opened up for Grayscale on their most previous tour. Um, most recent tour. I don't know why I said most previous. That makes no fucking sense. Alex is the lead singer of Young Culture. Now, I had been listening to Young Culture here and there for like a few years, but I never fully got into them because I suck. I'm not good at listening to new bands at all. Like literally someone can tell me a million times, like Sammy, you need to listen to this band. Like my friends are trying to get me to listen to Bearings. I cannot do it because I'm terrible at it. Unless I see the band live and then I'm like, okay, they, these people are good, I will not listen to them. That's how I got into Weathers. I can't just do it on my own. Like I need to see them live first. But anyways, yeah. Young Culture opened up for Grayscale and every single day that Young Culture was loading in, Alex made sure to stop and talk to us. And I know, bare minimum, again. They're like a small band, so they can actually like do that. It's not like they're fucking, I don't know, Blink-182 or some shit. They can actually like stop and talk to their fans without getting fucking mobbed. But every single day he would stop and talk to us and he was always so fucking nice. He'd always like ask us how we were doing. He offered to buy us fucking coffee. And I was just like, oh my god, I don't even know who this man is. Like, I knew who he was, but he had never met me before then. And he's just like, hey, you guys want some coffee? It's kind of cold out here. And I was just like, oh my god, I love this man. And just seeing him interact with, like, his fans was so fucking sweet. Like, he's adorable. I love him. One interaction that stands out the most, though, is that I met him after the Rochester show. And he says he wasn't drunk, but I call bullshit. Uh, he had to have been drunk or high or something. There was no way that man was sober. He sees me after the show because I was like waiting to like say bye to him or whatever. And like be like, oh, you guys did so good. And he just pulls me into this giant bear hug and he's just like, oh my God. And I'm just like, I would die for this man. I love this tiny little man so much. And he's, He's just like, oh, like, you need to come find me tomorrow so we can hang out. And I tried to make plans for that, but they fell through. I was actually going to do shots with him at the Worcester show, but my plans fell through, so I couldn't. So Alex, if you're watching this, I'm so fucking sorry. I would do shots with you in Pittsburgh for your the Bearings tour, but I'm gonna be out of town. So come back to Pittsburgh so we can do that. And then he's just, he's like hugging me again. He's just like, I love your shirt, by the way. I was wearing like my fishnet top and I was just like, hey, thank you. And then I had to leave. But he's so fucking kind and he's so fucking sweet. And if you have not listened to Young Culture yet, what the fuck are you doing? They're so good. Um, They're definitely underappreciated. They're so good. They're even better live. So if you're going to the Bearings tour, maybe show Young Culture a little appreciation, because why see fucks? Next, we have Jansen from The Wildlife. 
yet another band that I discovered on the Umbra tour. Grayscale stays giving me new good music to listen to. And before Tiffany fucking comments, Oh my god, why isn't Josh Doty on this list? Josh Doty. There, I said it. He's nice. I don't know. I don't remember anything from our interaction except for the fact that he made you a video for me. That's all I remember, bestie. I'm so sorry. But yes, Josh Doty is nice. I just don't remember anything from that interaction. Jansen from The Wildlife, though. I met that man twice in my three-day span of seeing Grayscale. The first time was after the Rochester show. Don't remember much from that interaction because frankly, I wasn't really talking to them. I was just there. But the second time though, was in the, Wilming the Wilmington date. And I like actually got to fucking talk to them. Jack had no fucking clue who I was by the way. What the fuck, Jack? I literally just met you two days ago, but okay. And then I started talking to Jansen and I'm just like, yeah, I have to go back to Pittsburgh tomorrow. And he's just like, fuck. How far away is that? And I'm just like, oh, it's like, you know, it's like a nine hour train ride. He's just like, why do you hate yourself? And I was just like, I do it for grayscale. And then security decides that it's time for everyone to get the fuck out of the venue. So we're saying our goodbyes, whatever. I'm like, I give Jack a high five. I dap up Carson. <laughs> and then I go to give a high five to Jansen. And he's just like, uh-uh. I'm just like, the fuck do you mean no? And he's just like, nah. Come here. Like, just like that. And I was just like, sir. Stop it. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, I guess we're doing this now. So I hug him over the merch table. And yeah. Oh, stupid tiny little man. I was slipping into my fucking pocket. Like, what the fuck? I can step on him. Last two people on this list. They go together because they're in the same band, and frankly, they're the only people from this band that I've met, but it is Ollie and Dom from Broadside. I saw Broadside, and I'm saying that with air quotes because it was a acoustic show, so it was only Ollie and Dom there. Um, so Ollie is the lead singer, Dom is their guitarist, and I had never seen Broadside before. I only knew like a few songs, but my friend Molly really wanted to go. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, I'll go with you. Their set was so fucking good. Ollie is such a good performer and he's also really fucking funny. Um, at one point in the show, Dom broke his guitar strings somehow and Ollie was just like, oh shit, what should I do? And I like turned to my friend Molly and I was just like, oh, do like a do up do stand up comedy and i guess he heard me and so he started doing stand up and i was just like cool didn't mean for you to hear that but whatever and after the show uh ollie came out first and there was like a group of maybe four or five of us and he literally stayed and talked to all of us well he talked to me and molly at least for like 20 30 minutes before we had to leave and then Dom came out and I had a very compelling Conversation with Dom about Hard Rock Cafe because I work there and Ollie also Complimented my Harry Styles tattoo because I was going to walk away to get into my friend Molly's car because she had to leave to go drive back home So we were walking away and he stops me. He's just like wait and I was just like what and he's just like I like your tattoo. What is that? And <laughs> it was my two ghosts tattoo. Um, so I pull my pant leg up. I show him whatever. He's just like, that's so sick. I love that. And I was just like, hell yeah. Ah. And then I remember calling him short or something. <laughs> Ollie's just really easy to talk to. And he's fucking hilarious. And I love him. I still haven't fully started standing broadside yet, but I want to change that. It's just, again, I'm really fucking bad at standing bands. Even though I know earlier I said that if I've seen them live, it's easier for me, but I, I just, I suck, okay? I suck. I'm not good at this. That's gonna be it for this video. Sorry if I'm, again, kind of whispering and I haven't been as funny in this video, but I'm not home alone. So don't give me any slack. But yeah, you guys wanted to know some of the nicest band members I've met. And here's a little list of them. 
if you guys have any crazy band member stories, uh, leave them down in the comments below because I'd love to hear about some of your best meeting band member moments. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.